Okay, so today, whoa, we're sliding. We're sliding. I don't have a mount, so it just sits on my dash. Um, <laughs> today we're going to my grandparents, and then, um, well, I'm gonna drop Brooklyn off at my grandparents. Uh, then I'm gonna help my grandpa. Whoa, poor fuck. Okay, god damn it. Okay, I tried to have a clean channel, but this thing's like fucking me. Okay, stressing. Okay, anyways, what was I? Going to my grandparents, dropping Chubbs off. Then I'm gonna go help my grandpa with his um, with his charger, the 68 or 67, 67 through 69. I'm not good at muscle cars, so yeah. Um, I, he has a few things to do. I think he wants to put his seat in, his seats in, and um, and then um, some like dorm arm thing, jiggers, rests. But yeah gotta drive like 30 minutes to get to his car so right on all right let me uh be a safe driver here and turn this off before i die all right we're out here at the shop um grandpa's tr cars in here right here Let's This one's not my grandpa's, but it's clean. I don't have any money for this. <laughs> Barely have enough money to build my own car. Not to not to to run them dry and then says not to leave them in it because the gas turns them up. But shit, that's got to upset the fuck off. Yeah, that's when this old PTL gas gets old. But you're better off leaving them wet. Carburetor's dry, I always do that when do this when they're sitting. I always put it in the dang vent. A little bit down there. That's a pretty good little carburetor, that 850. Yeah. I'm still messing with the adjustment on the on the secondary air valves. Oh really? Still happening, it's still not satisfying. It's real it's running real lean and popping, so when you it's really you when you I haven't driven it yet. Yeah. I just went for a four mile drive yesterday. Did it, did it and it's running too lean.
right, so we just left the shop. My grandpa's a 68 Dodge Charger. Um, what was it, like 10th startup? Yep, it was about the 10th startup. We, uh, it's a 68 Dodge Charger RT. Uh, the motor was built by Hensley Performance out of Tennessee. It's a 493 stroker. Uh, today we finally got to fire it up again. We thought the oil pressure was really bad in it. Turned out to be a sending unit. Uh, the oil pressure is pulling at 95. Dropped down to about 85 on the, after it warmed up a little bit, so we're pretty happy about that. The, uh, the engine's just about ready to take, the car's about ready to take out for the test drive. All we got to do is finish putting the upholstery in and the hood back on it. So hopefully everything goes smooth now. Hopefully, yeah. Um, all you need is an air filter in the hood. Gotta basically, get the, gotta get and then the, the back seat. You gotta get the air cleaner. And the back seat we delivered today. That's after after yeah. cleaning for six and a half hours cleaning on the back seat. And luckily the interior was in good shape. Yeah, it still looks brand new. Yeah, the, brand uh, new. the front interior uh, got a tackle in, get it put out because we needed something in there so we could crawl in and out of it after we wired, got all the wiring and the motor back in so we can fire it up and not have to set on a box. So, oh, these lawn chairs. <laughs> there are lawn chairs. Yeah, so I think that's it for this video today, but it was pretty nice. Beautiful cars there. It sounded mean. Yeah, it's got the. We, that, that was another thing. We we did upgrade to a three inch exhaust from TTI. Got a set of TTI headers. Went ahead, went with their exhaust setup too. So uh, it's uh, pretty happy. I went ahead and went that route. Was kind of hesitant, but glad I did. Well, anything to kill the show, right? That's it. All right, that's it. Uh, that's We're it. done here. Like, favor, and subscribe. Share. Don't forget to do that. I don't ever do enders, so like it's awkward. Forget to. All right, thanks, guys.